Greetings. I thought I'd try something new and film myself while creating a tutorial. Instead of just creating these utterly silent videos where small bobbles of commentaries pop up from time to time. Even though they might actually be more um, informative because now I can just babble on and I got a little birdie right there and he's really really alive today so you just have to accept him for what he is, who he is. Anyway, so the last week I've been playing around with Unreal Engine 4 and I must say it's uh, it's awesome. So I've created created a little level. Well, it's not actually a level. It's just a couple of corridors with a door and a trigger to open the door with the use of matinee and a trigger on the other side closing the door. So I will just simply teach you how to place those triggers, animate the door and get it to work. Let me take a little look. That was really loud. And those of you who've seen my channel before, you might know that I have already created a UDK tutorial dealing with the same subject but I felt that Unreal Engine 4 was different enough to justify a new tutorial on how to do the same thing so here you have this inventive doorknob push it and the door opens go to the other side push this and the door closes you can't open this again now because that's by design. Let's say 10 enemies are coming after you and I have to close the door for them not to take you. So, yes. This is what we will be doing. You better believe it. So, here's the door. Here's the makeshift doorknob doesn't work so let's get on with it auto save yes always auto save always save always save so the first things first I prefer setting up everything before connecting them so that means I will first place the two triggers and then animate the door and then in blueprints put everything together. And for those of you who don't know, blueprints are like Unreal Engine 4's Kismet. So it's kind of the same but a little different. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a trigger. You can find really nice triggers up here under no modes and just get down to basic, click it, and here you have like, you know, basic triggers, notes, target points, player start, camera. So we're gonna use the box trigger. You just click it and drag it into the scene, just like that, and place it. Place it where you want it to be. I want it to be pretty much here, yes, 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 a little bit closer, yeah, that's good. And we'll do the same thing at the other side, take the box trigger, place it in the scene. Not right now. We don't need his little belly Bulging. thing right now. Come on. 
can sit there. Okay. He will translate for all the bird viewers out there what I'm doing. So any other budgies watching will be able to do it as well. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yeah, it's right. Okay. So both the triggers are set up. Now the next thing to do is to get the door ready. But first, save. I think maybe Unreal Engine 4 crashes a little bit less than UDK did. But I've still experienced it crashing and I haven't really used it this much so remember to save. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go into the details when your mesh is uh, selected. And details are the same as properties in UDK. To get the properties in UDK you would right click and they will, would be in the top in the menu here, but instead they're here. And that's very nice. So in transform you get down to mobility and you can see that now the mesh is just static mesh. It can't be a static mesh if you want to move it. So, click movable. And now you will be able to animate it. Save again, yes. I'm a little bit neurotic about the saving. I have just simply experienced too many crashes and losing stuff I've created and whatever. Yeah, you know, you don't want to experience that. So, now we will <laughs> Jesus. We will open the matinee add matinee you can see I already have a matinee actor here which is the first door but we will create a new one inside matinee you will go to the tracks right click add new empty group I would just call this door 2 yes Select the door again, and with the door selected, right click in the newly created group, Actors, Add Selected Actors, boom. Now you can see a little camera here, and that's right. Now we will create another one, so right click again, and then Add New Movement Track. This is a track where you will actually animate the door. And I'm gonna let it be... The animation should be three seconds long because I like it when the doors, especially sci fi doors like this, are slow. So it's like. <laughs> That's nice, yes. So, three seconds. So, in the timeline, you can make the timeline bigger or smaller by scrolling and you will place the keys where this timeline bar thingy is so I will place it at the start and since I'm happy with the door's current position as the starting position I will just click enter which will place the keys Bloop. and here you can see key movement and I will drag the timeline bar to the end of the timeline and I will place the door where I want it to be at, it, at its ending position Final position. This is nice. So, enter, boom. Now you get this animation line. So, if I'm dragging the timeline bar now, I will see it is animated. Yay! Woo! Okay. So, that's done. Time to save again. You must close matinee before saving level. Do you wish to do this now and continue? Yes, I would like to do this now. Thank you, thank you. So, now, 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 we will open blueprints. Blueprints. Open level blueprints. This is where the magic will happen. This is where connection to everything will be. Yeah, and I've already done it for the other door. At the door, yes, I have already done it. So, I will start by putting in the triggers. So, select your trigger, and inside level blueprints, right click, 
and add event for trigger box so we will open that and since we want the player to collide with the the trigger well we want the action to happen when the player collides and we want it to happen as soon as the player enters the triggers field so we will do it on overlap on begin overlap and not when he leaves the trigger because we, we want an immediate uh, immediate action yes so choose to add on after begin overlap there it is very nice and we will do the same for the other one select it and right click in blueprints add event for trigger box 5 collision add on actor begin overlap here we go so we have triggers and what is gonna be triggered yes the door will be triggered so we will find the matinee actor because it needs to be represented here it is you can see it in the scene outliner up here this includes all the objects and stuff in your scene and now I lost it here we go scene actor 1 select it and with it selected I go back to blueprints right click and it's enough to just add reference to matinee actor so you get a little nice one like this so the next thing now is we want something to play we want it to be played so we right click and then it's so nice in this new kismet version or blueprints you can just write play and you will get a lot of different options but you see here add event for matinee actor call function on matinee actor cinematic play so we will use that one click it and this actor already was connected to it but I want my own thank you very much uh, so this play will be connected to the first trigger but we will need a play connected to the second trigger as well so I'll just copy this control C and control V to paste drag it down here No, I don't want to see that. So now, instead of taking one thing at a time, I'm just setting it up. Well, actually, I'm going to take the first thing at a time. The first thing first, just to see that it works. So, we will connect this trigger to the play, just like that. And the target of play is the matinee actor just like that. That should be enough to make the door or the animation play so we will click compile and it, it, when you see it's checked like that it should work so let's just see that the first trigger actually works because if it doesn't we have a problem. Right click play from here yes it works that's good. So back into blueprints now it's time to take the last trigger but this one will close the door so we will have to reverse reverse it so we can right click and in the search box we can simply write reverse boom no okay that's because context sensitive is checked remove that then you get more options and here we can see animation cinematic reverse so we will use this reverse add it we will connect the second trigger to play and play to reverse and then we will connect the actor to both reverse because the actor is being reversed and also Play is reversing, no, play is playing the actor, so you need to connect it to both of it, both of them. And then compile, and everything looks, looks beautiful, yes. So, we will save all, get out of 
blueprint and check it. Check to see if it works. Play from here. Boom! Yes, it works. Now, will this trigger close the door? I think it will. Yes. Magic. Magic. So, that's it. That's one video. So if you enjoyed the vi the video, the video, like it if you like, comment if you have any questions uh, or suggestions for other tutorials. You can check out my website unrealtutorials.com. It's growing steadily, slowly but steadily, and you know subscribe if you wanna. Yes, thank you.